It only comes twice a year, although this week, or uh, this time, we uh, did two weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. We had a little extra time on our hands. Yeah, we you know, did. <laughs> with not down. a lot of people out there dating, so. Yeah, but, uh, you know, we like to catch up with some of the folks, some of the couples that made the biggest impressions on us within the past, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine months. And uh, let's see, we're going back to February here. Here's how it started. So Jonathan is looking for a second date update with a lady named Miranda. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Hi. Good morning. How are you? Doing good. So let's take it from the beginning. How did you meet Miranda? The most wholesome way possible. I met her at a church function. That's perfect. (laughs) That is the best. I love it. Oh, my mother's dream. Meet a nice church girl. (laughs) They're having a social. And she came there. I go there regularly, but I hadn't seen her before. But I I learned that she lived around there, and she didn't have anything going on, and so she stopped by. Nice. So, do you think maybe you've uh, you've converted her? You've you've found a new friend, someone who will become a regular parishioner. That's funny. It wasn't much about religion. We didn't really talk about that much. No. I thought she was great, but she's been divorced for a few years, and so we kind of hit that topic a little bit. Mm Hmm. And she said she doesn't date that much right now and wanted to get and kind of hinted that she wanted to get back out there. So, you know, I swooped in and said, yeah. well, how about how about we go to them? go out now? What's your situation? Have you been married before? No, I haven't like some long term relationships, but close. But no, uh, I guess I guess what you could say is uh, accused, but never convicted. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. Fair enough. <laughs> We got close. Okay. Anyways, so Olive Garden seemed like the right spot, and we went there and had a good meal. Olive Garden is always the right spot. I love that place. A lot of bread, a lot of salad, pasta, wine. Yeah, yeah and they just keep Load bringing it, it man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Load it up. I love it. Yeah. Might not be a good idea long-term portions and things. But well, maybe. Anyways, we were there, and it was like one of those dates that was working, strangely enough. There wasn't like those long pauses. And uh, that's always a good time. Yeah, good flow of conversation. Yeah, and good. she didn't seem bored. And we eye contact. I don't know what are the other ones you're supposed to check off when you go to these things. I don't know. I'm oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like it was working. That's uh, good. You know, we we didn't have so much wine that it was like diving each other across the table. So when we left, it was just kind of one of those hug things. And I thought that was a good sign. You know, it wasn't like. She backed away and, and was afraid of contact, but it, it wasn't a makeout thing. But it was a, you know, we hugged. You know, she didn't like I said, she didn't do a handshake and walk away. We got a good hug. It felt like and, a free and easy, uh, affectionate hug. Absolutely good. So maybe you guys can figure it out. I don't know, but uh, she sure is hard to find. These yeah. Days. Well, how was it left? Did she say let's do this again sometime? Or I really enjoyed that. Or she did. Except you know what? I was just thinking. When they don't take your number, let's see. Isn't she supposed to take my number so that way she'd call me back and I'd be in her? Because I keep calling. She doesn't know. I guess, I guess she has mine for me leaving messages, but I forget what the what the message is. If a girl gets your number, that means she's serious or not. Well, I don't know, but I guess what you're saying is so when you met at the at the social, you got her phone number, made plans. Yes. So you've spoken before. Yeah, we did. I just thought that she would want mine, too, you know, so we would both, maybe she'd make the effort, but I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with a reason why I can't get her to call me Well, she's got it. When someone reaches out to me and there's like, hey, it's so-and-so, and and I don't have their contact info or their name. You save it immediately? I just, I save it immediately. Yeah, So if they ever come up again. Well, maybe that's not a good sign, but like I said, I really liked her. I thought it was good. I want to find out what's going on. All right. It's worth a phone call. We'll call her up. Anything else we need to know before we take the break? Uh, no, that's about it. All right. Let's do that then. When we come back, we'll call Miranda and see what she's got going on in her life and if there's a chance that we can reunite her and Jonathan. Coming up, second date update continues here at Cincinnati's Q102. All right. So Jonathan met Miranda at a church social. She is not a regular parishioner, so I guess there's a good possibility he may never see her again since she's not calling him back now. But we don't know why. They, they had this great date. You know, it seemed like it ended well, and like so many of these second date updates go, zip, zilch, nada. Nope. No low communication. Not a lick. 
<laughs> so, Jonathan, we're going to make the call if you're ready. I'm a little nervous now, now that you say it like that. But... Well, you know, I'm all about the buildup here, Jonathan. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi, can we speak to Miranda, please? This is Miranda. Miranda, it's Jeff and Jen and Fritch and Tim at Q102. How are you doing this morning? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my God. Weird phone Hi. call to be getting. I'm like, I can't believe this is happening. Is this a second date call? It is. Have oh you been dating? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so funny. I can't even believe it. Oh, my God. I know exactly who you're calling about. You do, do you? I do. Were you talking about Jonathan? Yep. Were you intentionally avoiding Jonathan, or have you just been busy? Uh, you know, I was avoiding him. I can't I can't lie about it. Why? What's up? Oh, oh gosh. Um, so, during dinner he starts telling me about these prizes that he wins from the radio station. Oh. Like he listens to a bunch of stations at different times in the day and then like plays their contest and he wins a lot. Like he wins a lot of stuff. Oh, well, that's good. I wonder if we've seen him in our lobby. I'm sure we probably <laughs> could him, pick actually. him out of the lineup. <laughs> I bet you do. I mean, could you recognize his voice? Like, he has definitely called you guys. You know, I recognize voices all the time, and I'm like, I swear this person's called Second Date Update before. Yeah. <laughs> but the Jonathan reason we, from Marymont. We recognize, yeah, right. <laughs> Jonathan from Marymont. What have you won? Pick your purse? Yeah. Uh, no, girlfriend Jonathan, getaway? Think of He's a real. regular faker for real player. <laughs> Hey, what can I say? I love you guys. <laughs> ah, yeah. She's exact. She's exaggerating. Us and everybody else. <laughs> Did he specify okay. like what contests he likes to win and play? And so he says it's all types of contests, but he doesn't just play them because he wants to win the stuff. He plays them, and then he says he makes all kinds of money by selling his prizes that he's winning. Oh no, like Jonathan! Come on, ticket. I am breaking yeah. up with you right now. I've seen yes. this, though. Not necessarily from him, but I've seen this before. She's making it sound a lot worse than it is. It's for fun, and people want these things, and I like to compete. It's Jonathan. fun to go on, and it's not a lot about being number 20. Sometimes you have to come up with good ideas and answer questions and kind of swoop in and be smarter than the next guy, and that's kind of fun for me. Wow. But I'm not but trying to, like, scalp so and take advantage like, of people. Some people actually want to win these things, you know? Like, I've called into a radio station before because I wanted the concert tickets or the movie tickets. But, like, I didn't, you know, you paid for our dinner with the Olive Garden thing that you won from a contest. <laughs> That's yeah. true. That's how I went to Olive Garden. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, pay That's with a gift card. That's what we want you to use the gift yeah. cards for. Fiscally responsible. Yeah. But I get Miranda's point, too. Like, if, if we're giving away a hot ticket, if we got tickets to see Justin Bieber or Taylor Swift or something, you know, you legit want to go. And our lines are flooded with people who just want to scalp them. I mean, you yeah. know, there's nothing That's illegal not about that it. That is it just sucks. upsetting, just, yeah. I don't, look at, I don't look at it that I look at it like I'm getting it to somebody that wants a real fan that wants to go. I'm not, you know, I'm not doing it for a living. Mm -hmm. I just like to, I like but to be picked. I like to be the one that wins. It makes me feel smart. Call you know, in. just like That's a hobby. That's a stupid reason, Jonathan. If I wanted the Taylor Swift tickets, I would call in and try and win them. You don't want them. So why are you calling in? That's dumb. You want the money that you can make from it. You want to take advantage of people. What can I say? I'm, I'm a capitalist. <laughs> Yeah, uh, everybody wins. Yeah, I make I a little like money and you get either. to go see Taylor Swift. Uh, oh, my goodness. He's selfish and I'm not interested. I'm just, this is, I, I don't, I can't understand how you can't see your mother didn't teach you to give other people a chance to win. You're being selfish and I'm not interested in that. Wow, I oh, love how passionate Miranda is. Me too, yeah, Miranda. Miranda, you've lost a lot of contests, you haven't tell you? tell him. You've tried a lot yeah, without winning. I good. know, I, it's hard. I can't hard. believe I'm being judged. Well, Jonathan, I'm about to ask you a question that may sound judgy, but I don't mean it that way. I'm just genuinely curious. Like, how do you find the time to play all these contests? Like, do you just have one of those jobs where you sit in front of phones and you a have... A lot of flexibility. I would imagine. I guess it's the curse of the iPhone having my ear earphones in you know they don't know what i'm doing yeah, or what right. i'm listening to and you kind of drift off and listen to stuff like yeah. listen to great shows like you guys 
Yeah. I, it's I one of those, Jonathan's one of those ones where we call and he's like, hello, I Jonathan. can't talk to you right now. You calling second date update isn't just another attempt on your part to win a free meal. Oh, my God. You're trying to get a free dinner. <gasps> No. no, he's not. No, that's not I wouldn't true. be this surprised, girl is a good girl. I, I can't believe that she's acting this way. This is a drag. I know, because we give away really good dinners. He must be out of gift cards. Mm. We love Olive Garden, but we would have taken it up a few notches, I'm just saying. Oh, man. Right. But I like that she's saying no. I'm going to take her out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give her the gift card. Yeah, who's the real winner now? Do you have any fix-up? Options where you you take the next step. He, and he's a negotiator till the very Look end. Look at that! No, I, I am done with Give the him hour. credit oh for that. Goodness. I think. Hang up. <laughs> All right, Jonathan. Well, listen. I'm sorry, man. I, I appreciate the participation, but we can't yeah. help you out with this one. All right. Well, I think I was better off before I called. Thanks. And thanks for listening, right, and thanks sorry, for man. playing. He's yeah. got to go. Somebody's having a contest. All right, he's gone. So, Miranda, legit, like, if you want, we're going to set you up with a gift card just because we want you to win something. We want you to feel good about today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this whole thing. Well, I would feel like a winner. Like, it was it was worth my time to go out on that horrible date. Well, we're going to set it up for you and your girlfriends to have a night out on us. That sounds amazing. <laughs> we think you're Thanks, awesome. guys. You're welcome. You're Go awesome, out, too. Have a good time, and thanks for being a part of our radio family. Thank you. All right, well, that wasn't that long ago. That was this past February. Fast forward to today, as Second Date Update Update Week continues, we're checking in with Miranda. Welcome back to the Jeff and Jen Morning Show. Hi, guys. It's really good to talk to you. <laughs> hey, it's good to hear from you. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you for staying on the air and keeping everything so I don't know, real through all of this craziness. It's really been nice keeping things at least a little bit kind of normal for everybody. So really, thank you. Well, thank you for hanging in there with us. And I continue to say, if we are people's normal, that might be a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But I take that as a huge compliment. So thank you. So anyway, here is an update on Jonathan, who I have not spoken to since I was on the second date update with you guys, but I have heard him speak on the radio since then. Yeah. we Now it's like we notice him every time, you know, sometimes the voices when you don't see the faces can blend in together, but his stands out for sure. Like I started listening really closely to all the radio winners and I swear he's all over the place, like winning stuff everywhere. I've heard him win with you guys and with John and Natalie. Yeah. And I've heard him on other stations in your building. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And outside of the building. He's... Mm -hmm. He's an equal opportunity. Mm -hmm. He's all over. Exactly. Like everywhere I go, like if places are playing the radio and they're playing a contest, he's on there. Like I hear him. <laughs> I bet I've heard him like seven different stations, I swear, winning all sorts of stuff like restaurant gift cards and concert tickets and music downloads, like all kinds of stuff. And he uses different names, but I can tell it's definitely him. Right. That's funny. He uses different names. I wonder how that works because usually you have to. At well, least here, don't you have to bring a form of ID? Yeah, or? 1099 a lot. Well, of what these happens prices. is is that sometimes they call in and they'll be like, you know, we're like, good morning, Q2, what's your name? And you're like, Tim. And then off air, they'll be like, I go by Jonathan gotcha. Smith yeah. or whatever. Mm. You know what I mean? So it, gotcha. that's, how it, that's, that's how I know that people have done that. That's like me with Ronaldo. Yes. yes. I guess he's been stopping by our church. Like I have some friends at church that have seen him. We've been doing, like, a meal thing for families that are struggling during the pandemic, and he's been showing up and picking up food. And my friend said that he's looking kind of rough. Like, I don't know how he's been supporting himself since this quarantine. Mm. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, think about it. If he's if he's making all of his money from prizes, from I mean, selling prizes that he's won. Yeah. I mean, our lobby's been closed. You haven't been able to pick up prizes. We also... Oh. The amount of contests we did sort of tapered a little bit during yeah. that time. Because we didn't want to give away stuff we couldn't give to people because mm -hmm. they can't come in and pick it up. Not for a long time, anyway. So he probably is hurting, and I mean, that's if that's his income, yeah. That's exactly my thought. Like, and also, if he can't sell any of the concert tickets... No concerts. I don't know how he can make any money if that's the way he makes his money. Like, what's he doing? He can't collect unemployment for that. That's right. not... Like, <laughs> 
<laughs> Can't get Occupation. a stimulus check for that, huh? <laughs> Tri-State Radio Prize Pig. I don't know what to do because we're all in this together, but I don't know if you guys have any, like, gift cards laying around that you could sell to him. I don't, or, like, send send to him. Send Jen. to him. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know. We could probably ask her to get the guy some, I mean, are you concerned about his, his well-being is what I'm taking it? Yeah, I mean, he's coming and picking up meals from church, which is, I guess, helpful for him. You sure he's not reselling them? Oh, I was going to oh, ask God. that same thing. Well, no, I'm not sure. I don't know. That's a good I'm point. I'm half She's kidding. trying I, to believe that there's some good in no, people. No, I know. And <laughs> listen, I, if he's going through a rough time, obviously I want to help him. I could reach out to him if you want. We could, we could, we could see what we have. Yeah. If you could do that, that would be good because I'm kind of concerned about him. There are just so many aspects of the ramifications of everything that's gone on for the past couple of months that... It's like, wow, I didn't even consider that that might have this effect on somebody. Some people make a living off radio contests. Right. And what are they supposed to do when we're shut down like this? And sometimes, like, maybe the only socialization they get is talking to Heather at the front desk. I didn't think about that either. I I just think this is, like, a really great reminder that we don't know what anybody's going through. And I think that's very sweet of you to be concerned. Well, thanks, guys. I'm just, you know, look, trying to look out for everybody. Mm-hmm. Do what I can. And just to be clear, this this concern of yours does not mean that you have any interest in seeing him again or going out with him again. Is that correct? Oh, no, certainly not. No, okay. no, no. <laughs> we, we don't want to mislead him when we speak to yeah. him. on the, We don't want him coming out of this thinking, you know, hey. Well, you're a good egg. We'll, yep. see, we'll see what we can come up with. Yep. If he's caller 20. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's kidding. Mostly kidding. <laughs> thanks for checking in with us, Miranda. Of course. Thank you, guys. And let us and know again, if you hear thanks anything, for too. for everything you're doing. I will. Right. I will. Appreciate it. Take it easy. Bye. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Uh, second date update update week is wrapping up today. We will air that again in the 8 o'clock hour in the 9 in case you missed any parts of that. And then next week we'll be back with brand new second date updates. And if you need our help because you've been out there dating and you've been ghosted, just send us an email. Jeff and Jen at WKRQ.com. Happy National Donut Day, guys. Did you get your free donut? I Not got Jeff. Not yet. Tim did. <laughs> Jeff gave, gave one to you, Fritch you, you, and Fritch gave it to me and it brightened my day. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even going to take it this morning, but she said, oh, just take it and brighten someone's day. <laughs> so I gave it to the first person I encountered this morning, mm-hmm. and that was Fritch. And Fritch was like, oh, that's so nice. Thank you. And then she re-gifted it to Tim. Yep. And I ate it in three well, Because I knew he would eat it. So. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, but that's something that D- Duncan that has actually been doing free donut Friday for a while. And they ask you on the app as you're ordering, you know, do you want to usually decline but uh, today, yeah, she really pushed it on me. And you know me. Yeah. Do you have a difficult time saying no? I'm a pleaser, Jen. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast. Brought to you by CBG Airport. Start your trip at CBGAirport.com.